Workers on the front lines of Japan's nuclear crisis are speaking out about the poisonous conditions inside the crippled plant. Conditions so dangerous that Japanese officials are sending in robots. We're going to show you those live in our studio in a moment. But first, the latest on the workers from Neil Karlinski in Tokyo. Neil. Cynthia, this is my dosimeter. I wear it around here to pick up cumulative levels of radiation while we're here and also to set off alerts in case there's a spike. That was a test, by the way. Imagine working inside the reactors without one of these. The government requires them, but it turns out many of the workers don't have them. International nuclear experts now believe melted fuel in reactor number one is causing a small, uncontrolled chain reaction that occasionally creates a blue flash of light and a burst of heat while emitting still more radiation. It is not said to be a threat to the area at large, but could be deadly for workers. The news comes as one worker from inside the plant who wanted to remain anonymous is now speaking out about safety concerns, saying that there aren't enough radiation detection devices to go around. He says workers are worried about their health. Some workers called it quits and just left for home. My gut feeling is that I want to get it over with and get out of here. Today we found former plant workers living in a shelter just outside Tokyo. Some have been offered jobs to go back and help contain the leak. They're exchanging money with their lives, he says. There may be people who will take the offer, but it's not worth the risk. Those who are fighting to contain the radiation will soon have help from an American company as the world's largest concrete pumps are being shipped to Japan from the United States. They'll first be used for spraying water, but they may eventually be used to coat the reactors in cement and bury them for good. TEPCO, the power company, has acknowledged the mistake and now promised to get more of these to its workers. Ours, by the way, and I hope my mom is listening to this one, over the course of about the last week has picked up about enough radiation to equal about one-fourth of one chest x-ray.